the next morning. Morning folks, this is a JW with Nuisance Wildlife Control. Um, and I'm at the spot where last night I came out to take care of a duck killer. Uh, just for the record, I'm certified with the state of West Virginia, state of Virginia, and the state of Maryland as a nuisance wildlife control agent. Anytime that wildlife is preying on livestock, um, I'm licensed to come in and take care of the offending animal. And at this particular place, we had... Um, the owners say that they were coming in their driveway one evening and as they looked they saw one of their uh, adult Pekin ducks that's those white farm ducks along the edge of the driveway and all of a sudden here came this gray fox without stopping grabbing the duck and running off and right away my uh, antenna went up because a gray fox can kill a duck but it would be a struggle right there it wouldn't just keep running I don't think so right away I thought well it's possible that it could have been a coyote and uh, last night my thoughts were confirmed so what we're going to do uh, I haven't been back here yet where it ran off after I shot and I uh, reviewed the shot on video here. I had the Pulsar Thermion 2 XP50 scope. Uh, and I um, I went back and I reviewed the shot. And I definitely did hit the coyote. So I haven't been back there yet. You're, you're going back with me. This is the first time. So what I'm going to do is show you the setup a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn you around. Right here up against this building in the grass right down there is where I had the call set. It's a lucky duck. And I was playing silly rabbit on it. Right there is where I had it setting. And I set it there so that anything that's back in the thicket behind here would have to come out in the open to see what was making the noise now I was standing right over there on the corner of that camper with my uh, 223 and uh, my tripod of choice is the Sunway photo my tripod and I got that from uh, Travis at foxoptic.com and uh, yeah, I tell you what, you can't go wrong with that. Sunway photo. You can get a hold of Travis and uh, let him know that you want one. He'll give you 10% off if you tell him the promo code SFO for Stevens Family Outdoors. And I'm not trying to make a sale. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks here. So what we're going to do... <clears throat> Another thing here before I go on back in. As you watch the video, you'll see that there's a, a one of his cats comes up and sticks his nose right down in into the collar. And after a little bit it decides to leave and it takes a few steps out and stops and looks back in the thicket there. I should have known. Anytime that you're hunting any kind of animal, always watch the non-target surrounding animals that are there if they happen to be because they'll alert you to something coming. I've done that many times with deer. Uh, but this cat stopped and looked over that way. And instead of me getting the gun ready and pointing it over this way, I made one more turn back over this way so that I could see if something was sneaking up behind me and as I turned back around with my Pulsar Axion right there it came and it came 
and stuck its nose almost and got a nose full of <laughs> Lucky Duck collar and uh, took off running and trotting. So I had to transition from uh, my uh, binocular to the rifle and just caught him as he was running down through. So what we're going to do now, we're going to walk down through here where the coyote ran and um, see if we can find evidence. Well, look at here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's all kind of hair right here. So there's a confirmation. I did hit him. So we're going to slip on back down through here. See if it might be laying down here. It's pretty thick as you can see. Some duck feathers. We brought the duck back. Okay, folks. As you can see here, there's a well worn trail going on up into a thicker area. Uh, traveled probably 75 or so yards and haven't found the uh, critter um, but we did find that big wad of hair and uh, I'm sure that it's hit and probably dead uh, but anyway we're going to go ahead circle back and if, if I would happen to stumble upon it, I'll get back with you. Other than that, this is J.W. Stevens signing off.